Hello everybody, Block Koopa here. Welcome back to more Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. I am joined by... Brawler Claw 67. And... Oh. Thank you. I suppose that... Okay, it's oh, still going. <laughs> it's, it's still loading, hold on. Okay. <laughs> Hello? Hi. Hello? You there? I finally, I finally connected. Oh, okay, good. That's good. All right. You know, that's good. actually pretty thematically <laughs> appropriate considering the case we're doing. <laughs> yeah, you should you should uh, upgrade you should upgrade to AOL. I'm pretty sure wasn't that AOL? <laughs> that was AOL. Oh, <laughs> uh, you should well you should upgrade to a different version. Yeah. <laughs> or you should call uh, tech support. Yeah, you should call our dad. Our dad was AOL yeah. tech support for a while. <laughs> That, yeah, that was the joke. Uh, man, yeah. All right. Anyway, there was a you know, virtual back around the time that we were born. Anyway, you know, back when AOL was AOL was, like, the, <laughs> was, the, was the was the was the number one computer. I still remember have, have vivid memories of my childhood running around the house, running around my parents' office, and hearing AOL dial-up noises coming from there. Nice. Mm -hmm. I remember that we had our computer that we would always use to play Wizard 101, but only one of us was allowed to be on at the time. Because like we, we only had our, one. yeah, our mom had a, one of those kitchen timers that she would set to like thirty minutes. So yeah, we could swap. we'd be allowed to play Wizard 101 for a little bit, and then we'd have to switch. And then eventually, we actually yeah. got our own laptops, and we were able to all play together. And we also played with yeah. our dad, and it was a lot of fun. Yep. <laughs> Those were, those were fun times. Like, that game was way was more expensive than it needed to be. Because it was the whole membership thing where you had to pay, uh, like, $60 for a year. Uh, but, of course, it's only a year, and, you know, once that time's up, then you have to pay again. You know, like memberships go. But it was fun. We enjoyed it. Like, we, we definitely got the money's worth out of it. We played it a lot. It was a lot of fun. Yep. Anyway, it was good memory. Hey. That was me reading him, by the way. I was saying anyway, like anyway. Something I want anyway. to ask. You. Sure. It's a lie. Is that Wait, right? so he did draw something on our stomachs? Mm. Wait, what did he ask? <laughs> you planned the meeting on the roof. Planned the meeting. Right, right, right. I never met up with Miyu. I couldn't get to the rooftop because it was locked. After I gave up and went back to the salon to search for a secret outside world. Of course we're doubting you. Yes! Can someone verify that you were at the salon the entire time? Did you meet anyone there? No, I don't have a witness. But you can also say there's no witness who can prove I wasn't there. Yeah, that's totally how the how, how it works. Unless you saw the salon empty yourself. Well, it's up to you whether you want to believe me or not. But you shouldn't doubt me like that. We're partners. No, we're not. No, we're not. <laughs> Great. We have something we don't even know if it's, if it's a lie as a truth bullet. First you logged me out, and now we're getting called by Monotaro because he needs to tell us something. Wasn't able to finish investigating me use Avatar again. What are we going to do? I can't clear my name like this. Okay, so no, we don't have don't to... Don't worry, we just... We need to talk to Monotaro. Hey! 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 Name that. I, I, I didn't hear what you said. I was just yelling hey. Uh oh. It's, uh, it I was, said uh, a man is falling in the river at Lego City. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I was too busy with my reference. Yours is way better. <laughs> your, your reference was so much better than mine. I was referencing I, I, Brian Regan. I, I thought yours was Brian Regan. I said, hey, you guys. Hey, you guys. So we, we all three did different yeah. ones. I was doing the one where uh, he was... Uh, he was, um... Oh, it's the dogs, right? Yeah, the, like, a, like dogs barking in the middle and I waking up everyone in the neighborhood. And he's like, imagine if a person did that. You know, some new guy, he just moves in. 
And then uh, sometime in the middle of the night, he just goes up on his porch and goes, Hey! 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 First, the person who tampered with this program was Mommy, like we meet, like we suspected. Mommy has an eccentric way of writing her code, so I knew it was her right away. Because her personality wasn't the only eccentric thing about her. So what does she tamper with? A few things, but I'll share the first one with you. Uh, it looks like Mommy deleted a lot of objects from this killing game simulator. She said that she deleted anything that could be used as a weapon. But in that case, why is there a hammer? That's true, only the hammer was left. But why was it left, hmm? The way the program was written makes it seem like she did it on purpose. On purpose. Did she add anything? We found a cell phone in the virtual world. No, that cell phone was an original feature of the program. That implies m implies me hid the fact hid that fact from us, which means all mommy added were the two maps. Uh, the rest was already part of the program. By the way, while we were talking about objects, I wanted to ask you something. We used the signboard to cross the river, but we could have used something else as a bridge. Or could we use something else as a bridge? Hmm, I didn't really see anything that could have been uh, used as a bridge to cross the river. So only the signboard could have been used as a bridge. Are we sure that lattice wasn't long enough to have been used as a bridge also? I don't think uh, it looked long enough. I don't think it looked long enough either. Okay. What's the but yeah, no, I, I am... I am definitely thinking that Miu was uh, planning a murder, and well, then she the, uh, what, got killed. What, happens, that, what she says next probably determines whether she was planning a murder or not. Or what he says next. Yeah. Well, it looks like she also tampered with certain parameters of the program. Parameters? Everything oh. in that program is categorized as either a human or a non-human object. Of course, everyone's avatar was assigned uh, was assigned the human parameter. But for some reason, Mommy gave her avatar the non-human object parameters. And what happens when you become an object? Well, the difference is only for identification purposes, so it probably does didn't affect anything. But if it didn't affect anything, then why would she have gone out of her way to do that? Because perhaps, objects can't break. Perhaps that has something to do- yeah, but I'm pretty sure the avatars can't either. <laughs> perhaps has something to do with the next thing that she tampered with. So. Mommy added a wall that didn't originally exist in the program. She added the loading wall. The coordinates of the virtual Maybe. world are represented on x-axis and a y-axis. And it seems Mommy added a wall that runs the length of the y-axis. Created an additional wall? Yeah, I definitely think she was planning that uh, murder. She's the one who created the map, too. Yep. Uh, there were walls in all four Wait. directions and two down the y-axis. Is, is she hiding nope. a section? Did so she create the walls on the outside, or did she create the middle wall? The, like, the loading zone? I think she created the wall on the far right, on the far right, because I saw a path leading So it. maybe the originally was designed to be able to loop. Wait, in which case, yeah, the walls exist, so how did the, how would the sideboard have gone? from the one side of the river to the other if there's the wall. It has to have wait. been designed originally to loop. Oh wait, yeah, and then she added a wall so it couldn't. <laughs> Maybe only objects can go through the wall, and that's why she turned herself into an object? Oh. A setting that allows a non-human yeah, object um, to pass through it. That, yeah. So that way, that way, she's the only one who could have used the river to cross back over, right? A strange setting? Uh, yeah, a uh, setting made it so they would be unable to move if Mommy touched them. So if Mew touched them, their avatar would be paralyzed? Who was it? Ah, it was Kokichi. That's me, I didn't know that. Well, duh, I wouldn't know. I never touched Miu in that world. I see, I see. I didn't even notice. That's all I have to report. Well, do you think it'll help you guys out? That helps a lot. Thanks. Ah. 
Oh, I should probably tell you this too. I thought, it, although it's probably not related to the case. Some sort of avatar user error occurred when you all logged in for the first time. An error? The contents of the error are unknown, so I can't provide any details. But things, something strange definitely happened when someone's avatar to someone's avatar when you all logged in. I don't think anyone's avatar was acting strange, though. What kind of error could it be? That's important information. What? That's all we get? Yeah, that's all we get. What? <laughs> what? Okay. Mood. Hey! <laughs> You're right. So. I... What? Yeah, I think Mi was probably plotting to kill Koichi, but she got killed first. Oh, probably. That's so mean. Like my my guess is that um she was oh, trying honest. to. He said. My my guess is that she was gonna. Was on board. Uh, Oh, hang on. It's all the way at the top. Probably because it starts with an A. There, you there go. it is. My, my guess is that her plan was to paralyze him and throw him into the river. I have a That's theory. That's my guess. And it's a very out there theory. Okay. Wait. I... Uh, basically... Sorry. I don't know if I should talk about it or not. Hmm? I'll talk about it, because I right. want to. Uh, Kokichi and Monokuma were planning something the night before we all went into the virtual reality thing. So I'm suspecting it was sabotaging the virtual reality thing by blackmailing me somehow. <laughs> Ooh, okay. And then it's so you tried to... to them say that, but it's only one of them. Yeah, and then Mio tried to sabotage that by making, co taking Koichi, Kokichi out of the picture, and then something backfired. Wow. That's my theory so far. Okay. Okay, do I have to actually run all the way? I think I could just. Walk. I think there's a warp point. Yeah, but sometimes it doesn't let us. Oh no, it did. <laughs> Hold on a sec. That's that's the third floor. Third floor. Yeah, well, I was testing it. Floor. It was fourth floor. <laughs> yeah. I think that um. I don't know, man. Right? We most certainly can, Kokechi. <laughs> hey. I guess. But. What? Okay. You're right! Stop putting pressure on poor Shuichi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I now have a new theory <laughs> that that builds off my first one. Okay. Got it. Uh, Shuichi's avatar was somehow modified to I don't know how, but well, Kokichi probably sabotaged it in advance to, in order to in set him up for failure during this class trial. Shuichi. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Which is why he's putting so much pressure on him. <laughs> 
Mm, I see, okay. But that doesn't really explain why everyone else is. <laughs> so... Well, the only thing that could be would be the avatar error, because that's the only thing that um, Monotaro didn't um, explain, expand upon. Uh, yeah. Okay. My thought is that that avatar error would be uh, someone had the wires switched. Uh, yeah, probably. But I, we don't know what that does. It swaps. One of them was for what memory and consciousness or what they were. Or the yeah. two chords were memory and consciousness. What would yeah. that even mean if those two things were switched? I don't know. Can you believe we're already at the fourth class trial in the third game? Good I can't great. believe that this this doesn't feel like it should only be number four. It feels like we've had like a bunch more than this. That's fair. Because we played three games. <laughs> I guess. Finally, someone's dead on this page. <laughs> I know, right? I saw Angie and got sad. <laughs> All right, let's go. I honestly don't need to all save right. right here because I still need to do all the skill stuff and then I'm just going to save again, but whatever. All right, so with no particular um, massive amount of um, logic behind it, um, my gut is saying that the killer is either um, Kaito or Tsumugi. Those are my two guesses. Uh, my money's on... Right now, my biggest hunch is Kibo. As much as yeah. I don't want it to be Kibo because he's the robot character and I like robot characters. <laughs> That's what my gut is saying. <laughs> Hmm. This one seems like it's pretty good. This one seems pretty good. This one I'm, is probably the one I'll do. That one, meh. I only have seven to work with, so I can only get one. And then this uh, one. I'm thinking between this one. That's they all good. cost four? Honestly, it's not really necessary. Yeah, and I only have seven. I'm thinking... That's double one, one try. We're doing this one. That's her. All right, let's go. Yeah, my my working theory is that Miu was plotting a murder, but she got killed first. Um, and I thought that he would have a. He said he would have energy by the time the trial started. Same. Before we start, I just want to ask something since there's not a lot of us left. What happens if the votes result in two first places? Like if there's a four-way or a two-way tie with four votes each? Yeah. As long as one of them is correct, it's fine. Wait, really? What if we do? Uh, everyone votes for a different person, and then it's a eight-way tie. <laughs> Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. 
Well, yeah, that that means we could literally just. Um, well, I mean, then we're we are relying on the uh, a little bit of a um, prisoner's dilemma problem where we have to trust that everyone is going to like vote. Um, that's true for different people. That is right. like well, well, it. That is we have to what plan it and then say like everyone has to vote for this person in order for it to happen that way, and then the the killer just doesn't. Okay, exactly. but here we have. One of those prisoners is Kokichi. And also one of the per yeah, and also one of them is Kokichi. I was gonna say the killer would yeah, just, the killer lie just lies and, picks and votes else. for someone else, and then that person gets voted as the black and the killer wins. So fair point. Yeah. Yeah. But technically so Also we just learned that now and it's, you know, a little bit too late. We should focus on the class trial. First, Kaito's the culprit. What? Naturally. Kaito's the culprit. Kaito locked out alone, right? You were able to move freely. Doesn't that mean you don't screw around? There's no way I'm the culprit. So it seems like the very first thing we need to figure out is was she killed in the real world or was she killed in the virtual world? Yeah. I think that's that's what I said earlier. I think that's the, the first priority. Mm -hmm. And yep. if, obviously, if he was killed in the uh, real world, then the only person who could have done it was Kaito. And if mm -hmm. he wasn't, then that means Kaito is the only one with an alibi. <laughs> or at least, you know, yeah. with, you know, he has an extremely solid alibi. True. I think probably uh, she was killed in the virtual world. Um, well, yeah, we talked I mean, about she, this last time. she was able to move her hands up to her throat. Um, we don't know how our physical bodies react. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. If the body is completely frozen, like it is in a lot of these, like, headsets, like, block horizon, uh, dot hack, um, usually the body gets, like, frozen, so... The culprit was trying to pin the blame on me. That diversion was part of your plan, right, Kaito? Okay. All right, what bullets do we have? Why are you on his side? Yeah. Wait, we have the small bottle of poison. We have what else? What did you have? Yeah. Three X's. Killing game, simulator, hammer, um, Monokuma file, Kaito's account. Can we put the Monokuma uh, file? I put the, uh, small hole bottle of poison against something because the small bottle of poison says the, the bloodshot thing yeah, yeah i think that it's actually on that statement right there yeah i think so Why does that word not become? Yeah, I don't know. Yellow one. Yeah. yeah. Mew wasn't killed by poison, and the warning on the label proves it. Mm -hmm. Drinking the poison would result in subconjunctival hemorrhaging. In other words, your eyes would be bloodshot. Oh, but Mew's body. That's right. Her eyes weren't bloodshot. Then what was that poison for? Probably a diversion. A red herring? The culprit wanted us to think Yeah, but yeah. if that's the case, whoever put that didn't really try that hard, because that was very easy to uh, disprove. And there are the a lot of different can't kinds. Read. And there were a lot of different kinds of poison in there. Yeah. The culprit Wait, what, can't what, read. What was the, what was the question? I don't what remember. was the question? What I was don't... the cause of death? Um, that's a fantastic question. A killing game simulator? Yeah, yeah. Kill killing game simulator. This is it. Yeah, this is the it. shock. News cause of death was the killing game simulator itself. Did you catch that reference, Alex? 
Yes. Okay, good. I thought you'd appreciate that one. In the of course, of course. It's one of my favorite games of all time. Damage, your real body dies of shock. That was made clear in the program's text file. Miu received fatal damage in the virtual world and died from that shock. In that case, it's fair to say that the cause of death was actually the symptom. Which means Kaito's the only one with an alibi. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of funny, though, uh, that it's the same as it is in the uh, second game, where they're all in that simulator, and if you die in the simulator, you just die of shock in the real life. Or yeah. in the real world. I mixed in the real True. world and in real life, and I said in the real life. Where is this virtual world place? What floor is it on? Oh, go to you, sweet summer child. Anything, don't say anything. If Mew was killed in the virtual world, then the next thing we need to figure out is what Yeah, poor Gonza is just gonna be completely lost in this entire case. Unless he was the culprit, he secretly understands this whole thing the whole time. And he's just playing playing us for a fool. By playing the fool. I don't, I don't want to believe that. I don't think that's the gift. <laughs> I'm just joking. So why don't we review things a bit? Um, mm -hmm. so we split into two groups to find the secret of the outside world. By the way, the reason that I think it's Samugi, uh, or Kaito, I think Kaito is, um, there's a lot of suspicions regarding him in terms of, um, the whole being locked out thing. Um, and I think that just his, his piece on the board was moved around a lot. Um, the reason I think it, uh, Tsumugi's an option is because she's just been so unimpactful in the story for the entire game that i think that this is the perfect opportunity for her to have a major impact gotcha plus the story was oh, trying really hard to like the story was trying really hard to, to build some uh uh sympathy for her with the whole plane thing the ones who searched the mansion yeah. were me, Shinichi, Samuda, but i don't actually have any um logic as to like why how they could have done it fair that NBC kaito Hey, who you call an NPC, you ASS? And That's a pretty good compact, actually. I like that a lot. Kimiko and the late Mew. How could someone have given her fatal damage in that situation? That's what we gotta think about. Now, let's all work together. Oh, My hat is flying. Let's begin then. Hey. Let's begin then. <laughs> Let's begin then. <laughs> All right. What are we trying to figure out? Uh, what the cause of death was? I think. In the virtual world, Neo was fatally injured. Let's focus our efforts on that first. Okay. It would. Yeah, probably. Well, we that that's not true. I think strangulation is more likely. Yeah, possible she was pushed from a great height. I think strangulation, probably. Oh, no, yeah. the, the drowned <laughs> thing is what I was thinking earlier was the drowned thing, but I'm not sure how her body would have been um, back to the chapel. I think it's, um... Let's try strangulation first, and Monokuma file 4. Do you think Monokuma okay. file 4? Yeah, it's the only thing that mentions her dying. No, I think it would be the corpse. Oh, you're right, her uh, corpse. I'm yeah. grasping her necks with both hands. She died with an expression of agony on her face. I yeah. uh, okay. Oh, sorry. That was okay. Uh, as the first to log out, Kibo was, uh, the first to discover the body. She still had her visor on at the time. So that, hands. yeah, that's, that's, Are we yeah. That force was involved? Wait, what would she have been, what would she have been strangled with? Really? It's possible she was pushed from <laughs> with. I don't know, she could, well, if, if, um, whoever did it, did it. Uh, I mean, I was thinking that um, it would make the most sense that someone logged out and strangled her on the outside. Well, no, no, but we, no, but she was strangling inside. I agree. Um, v consent. Ah, oh, so it was a drowning. 
Dang. Whose body showed severe trauma and signs of a struggle? Yeah, I'm not sure why this couldn't have also been uh, drowning. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. I guess when your body is in death throes from drowning, its first instinct is to try and swim up, so she wouldn't be clutching her neck. If her body experienced pain, she must maybe, pain maybe. Like even if you're unconscious in a virtual world, your body still has survival instincts. Like when you're in danger, I don't just instinctively do without. True. True. Which is why you can't strangle yourself. You, Pat, your, 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 your brain would shut down long before you could actually reach the point where you die. Yeah. The assassin master gets. In that case, her exact cause of death is being strangled in But is strangulation even possible? If the avatars were equally strong, it would be... Yeah, if she was just as strong That's as them, very no true. way they could have strangled her. Then the culprit would need a tool. There are tons of cases where a weaker person would strangle a stronger person with a rope. Wow, you know a lot about killing... No. Was there even a rope in that world? Then they must have used something else as a rope. There's no way they use the toilet paper as a rope. There's no way they use the toilet paper as a rope. Can the objects not break? They can't break. They There's can't no break. way. There's oh my no God, way. Yeah, yeah. You can't yeah. tear the toilet paper. <laughs> yeah, that was a question that someone asked. Was like, hey, what happens if we try to use the bathroom? That was that was the that was a question someone asked. This is it. Oh my god. Wait, I can That's move the camera during that? Oh, Wait, shoot. hold on a sec. Whoa, what the what? heck? <laughs> I just accident I accidentally bumped the uh, right stick on my controller. Wait, since when? <laughs> have we been able to do this since the first game? I don't know. <laughs> I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> that reminds me of the, uh, what was the other thing that, uh, that we had? That was like a, like a... What what was the other control that we could have done? That like does nothing. I don't know. Um, I don't remember. No, I don't remember how to get to the controls. Uh... Question: Who was the one who asked about the toilet paper? Open script. Window. When mode, we first controls. entered the virtual world. Who was the one that asked when about what? The toilet paper. When we first entered the virtual world, who's the first? Who's the person who asked about it? I I'm not sure. What? He's gonna say that because he. Huh? What's wrong? What's wrong? Shuichi goofing off. Not gentlemanly at all. He, this is dumb because he just doesn't understand the virtual world. Mm -hmm. no time for nonsense. No can use toilet paper in place of rope. That's too easy. Even Gota know that, and Gota not smart. Uh. No, I'm positive Wait. toilet paper was used instead of rope. Maybe I could have just done it right there. What is, what is this blade rebuttal? Why you not take this seriously? Yeah, this is dumb. Well, what's the sword we need to use though? This one probably. Uh, killing game simulator. That's, yeah, the killing game simulator. Did we have to do it in the first one? Yeah, looks like we do. So you have to lose the blade struggle. No. There's no time for nonsense. Oh, is that why they put in the first one so you can get it over with really quickly? <laughs> Probably. Would tear too easy. I'll cut 
for your words. The joke blade duels. <laughs> the toilet paper wouldn't tear. Because in the virtual world, objects are unbreakable. Breakable? Wait, that means that me would be unbreakable. So she basically yeah, just gave herself god mode. That's what I was saying. <laughs> but then, so, but how did he get yeah, strangled? Yeah, isn't that if also the case for the avatars? I don't the know avatars so. can't be damaged. It's but the damage happens in the real world. Like, he, uh, yeah, mm, yeah. No, never mind. Understand, but sorry, Shuichi. You don't have to. Gonta was wrong. It's okay, Gonta. You have don't wasted a few minutes. My toilet paper. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> but if Mew was Ouch. The chapel, That's funny. Was the murder Maybe the culprit tried to get rid of it to destroy the evidence. <laughs> If toilet paper was the murder weapon, then what's the deal with the hammer next to her? Perhaps the culprit prepared a backup weapon, just in case. No, the culprit didn't bring the hammer. No? But who else but the culprit would bring a hammer? Um, Wait, we already knew. would it not be the yeah. person who knew that there was a hammer in the first place? That's it! Yeah, yeah definitely. For sure. Yeah, I, I'm 100% confident that Mew wasn't. I am 100% confident that Mew was intending a murder. Remember what she told us. The only reason that 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 could be wrong is just because it would be a little obvious because everyone would suspect her immediately if she successfully did a murder. Because she's the only person who could have planned stuff like this. Yeah. Like she had access to the code, code and everything. Yeah. Um, but. The, all the things that were that she did to set everything up just oh, screams that she was attempting a murder. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I think that's what we're about to find out here. Maybe that lines up with my blackmail theory. Let's earlier, that like, you maybe she was back, blackmailed and commi into committing a what murder in the first place. Ooh, okay. That's a, that's a good thought. A DIY project. <laughs> well, it didn't work. And tried to kill them with it. Oh, and I bet we can. Uh... No, I bet we um uh consent to or agree with um uh Kokichi's statement there with the Kokichi Probably. and Mingo meetup. Yeah, yeah, the, 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 yeah, that one. Maybe <clears> to break down a <throat> yeah, I think she was going to meet up with uh, him and, and kill him. Oh, you're going to blackmail me into doing a murder? All right, I'm going to murder you. Yeah? I, I, I'll say that out loud. That sounds like a very hard thing. It does. I was supposed to meet up with Mew on the roof of the mansion. What? Is that true? I overheard them talking no. about it at the chapel. <laughs> By the mm -hmm. way, Mew asked to meet up with me before we went into the virtual world. I totally forgot where we were supposed to meet, so good thing Keyboy spied on us. Wait, so Mew called Kokichi out? If Mew brought the hammer, I wonder what she was planning to do with it. Mm. Confess her love for yeah, uh, with, uh, the uh, uh, that's it. <laughs> with the hammer. She was it's like um, Tomodachi life when uh, the Mies ask you to help. I, I like this other me, but I want to know how I should confess. And one of the things you can do is have them give them an, an object. Oh, and yeah. So that was her giving an object. And one of the places you can go is you can meet uh, on the roof. You can go to That's the roof. That's true. Of the man, go of the to the apartment. roof and give him a hammer. <laughs> That's funny. Bro, I kind of want someone to just like recreate that video. Just like make a little video yeah, of that happening. Yeah, but then happening. you'd have to, that really, that you'd have to really, really force that, 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 that to happen. You'd have to make yeah, a I'd game in which you have a me for Miyu and a me for Kokichi. 
You'd have to have it. I don't even know if Hammer is an option. It probably is. You, and then you'd have to get the Miu to want to confess to Kokichi in order to and ask you to do it. It's just Tomodachi Life is way too RNG for that. But that would be great if you yeah, guys do it. Why we need an HD remake of Tomodachi we Life? Do. We do. We need it. With the me creator from I Utopia. Mean, yes, Switch. exactly. This is the big well, thing. I want them to do a recreation of Tomodachi Life for the Switch. Specifically, that way we can use um, the Switch's version of the Mii Maker. Namely, that way I don't have to use hair color spray in order to change the character's hair color. Yeah. Well, the thing is, the 3DS Tomodachi Life was already sort of... Uh, a remake? Not OG, but it was already sort of a, a, a remake uh, of the DS version. That was True, but that doesn't mean you can't make another remake. Isn't that what they're doing with, uh, uh... Pokemon's remade red and blue, like, three times. I was gonna say Donkey Kong Country, uh, Returns. Because wasn't that originally a Wii game, and then they made a Wii U yep. remake of it, and also a 3DS remake of it, and now they're making another remake of it? Not a remake, ports. <laughs> Port, uh, yeah, that's what I mean. It's originally a Wii game. Wasn't it originally a Wii game? Yep. Yeah, but didn't Oh, they yeah, all... I guess it was. Didn't the they... uh, the Tropical Freeze was the Wii U one. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so maybe I'm wrong. But they did make a, a 3DS version of Donkey Kong Country Returns. This is the first time you're hearing so. Yeah, there was a 3DS version uh, of Jungle well, uh, Donkey Kong. Other... Not, jungle, not, 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 not Tropical Freeze, but uh, Trop, uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns. Uh, I don't specifically remember that. Well, in the it's Nintendo Direct, they mentioned that it was going to be all the levels, including the levels that were unique to the 3DS. Ah. Oh, oh, this is both fair enough. If you want to prove this, you'll need to figure out and use plan. Otherwise, I wouldn't do that, because I don't really care about Donkey Kong. The only Donkey yeah, Kong game I really played Returns. much of at all was Donkey Kong 64. I love Donkey Kong Country Returns. It's really good. <laughs> okay. I like the music in that, uh, the, the, the particular song that they actually even played in that trailer. Uh, and it's also in Super Smash Oh, Bros. Rocket Barrel? <laughs> I don't remember Rocket it being Barrel? called Rocket Barrel. Yes. I don't remember it being Bar called Rocket Barrel. It might have been like Barrel Blast or something like that. Maybe. I thought it was Bramble Blast. No, Bramble Blast is a different one. That one's from Donkey Kong Country 2, I think. Oh, okay. Oh, it's like Taxi. I'm not sure exactly if it's supposed to be Psyche Taxi or Psyche Taxi. I think it's Psyche Taxi. Me over here looking at the kilometers per hour trying to translate this, that into freedom units. <laughs> And freedom units, yes. Well, I know that 1,600 kilometers is a mile. And that's pretty much all I know how to translate uh, into... Like, I, I'm not sure what that means for meter. Well, I mean, I could just do the math there. And it'd be... Uh, Are we just doing who tried what, to kill... A hundred and... Six... I don't know. Uh, 160,000 meters would be a mile, I guess. But I don't know how to translate that into feet or anything. Well, I guess, I mean, is it... I, I always forget exactly what uh, Miles is in, um... Or, uh, M Miles is in feet, isn't it? Like, 2,000... Or 5,820 or something like that? 5,280? I, I don't know, like you're that. asking the wrong person. You're asking the wrong person. I don't remember exactly. It's something like that. You're asking the person who can't up measure out an inch in real life. Who tried to kill Kokichi? It was me. We've been over this. This this Good. build is so weird. It is. It gives off a, a mix of a uh, Crazy Taxi and Hotline Miami vibes. I think it's supposed to be a Hotline Miami yeah. thing. And also, there's a the Crazy Taxi aspect to it too. But I think it's very mm -hmm. it's it's supposed to be Hotline Miami. But like the music is, yeah, is kind of so. fun, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. This I can't really I like hear it all that well to. outside of you know the sound effect. But... This is the million dollar question, isn't it? Oh, where? I thought it was why. <laughs> oh, yeah.
Um, the roof? It was the roof, because that's where they were supposed to be. The afterlife. Oh, the virtual world. The oh. afterlife. The afterlife. <laughs> I will kill you again. <laughs> and another one. Just kill him again. Son knock. How? Son Why is it showing that picture? <laughs> oh. What? Why that one? That one from uh, the billboards. Part of it. I can't tell what the picture is. It's too blurry. It was uh, the same movie. It was Smoogie being all cutesy when we were in her lab. Why was a bottle of poison on a Kokichi seat? Oh, because, uh, oh, that's, oh, yeah, that is the picture. Because, uh, it's, uh, Kokichi's, um, subconscious trying to distract him while he's trying to think. Is his psyche? That's true. It's, a, it's in his psyche. He's like, but those, uh, those biddies, though. The billboard's distracting Sorry. him so that he won't look at the billboard. He's right back and he'll come back with the cars. Mm hmm. What was the bottom? Um, to divert attention. To divert attention. Dude, we're picking up three escorts at the same time. Wow, we're a player. Holy crap. But, but it we're did planning on having a very, very specific type of night. It yeah. did not work. It was honestly a very terrible attempt. Because of the bloodshot thing, it was so easy to tell. Considering we had, especially oh. considering we had to read the label in order to figure out how the poison worked anyway. I mean, I guess we didn't need to read that because we could have just been like, "It's poison; it kills people." But like, of course, each ultimate detective is going to read the label. I mean, come on. She could have defaced the label, but she didn't. What? Well, after she did it, obviously. <laughs> Wait, we're suggesting that Miu put the poison? Oh, yeah, because you wanted to kill Kokishi and make it look like she oh, tried to Oh, and then place the poison next to him so that people would think that he was killed with the poison. Mm. That would make more sense as far as the uh, bloodshot thing goes. Because, um... Um... I... have a question. Um... It, not that you will know the answer to it. I'm just saying a question that I have uh, that I want to ask. She wasn't trying to is, kill him. She was, um, trying to, she was trying to paralyze him so she could kill him in the real world. The fact that um, she was considered an, a non-player object, would that influence um, how her login and log out were logged? Yeah, Wait, but remember how, wait, how, uh, remember how Kokichi's thing was, uh, sorry to interrupt, but remember how Kokichi's thing was coded so that it would be paralyzed if you ever came in contact with you? Yeah. What if the plan it was to paralyze him on the rooftop, log out, poison him in the real world, and then bada bing bada boom? Maybe. Um, I was saying, um, uh, a, a big question, a potential mystery, is um, if the is one of the side effects of you turning her own player or avatar into a non-player object, uh, would that influence uh, the? Would that mess with the ability for the log to log her uh, logins and logs out logouts? Oh. Can we check the text file? Um, I want to see it. Does it show that she logged out ever? I guess it uh, probably will, but I want to make sure. It doesn't. I remember that much. It doesn't specify that she ever logged out, right? No. She, it never does. Yeah. Okay. That's a point in favor of her being killed within the game. But, but I, I wonder if the fact that her, um, I wonder if uh, that is a... Uh, a uh, uh, side effect of her uh, model, um, her activity object, is that she wouldn't be noted. In the text file? 
that that would be yeah. part of her yeah, plot to uh, only uh, only and then she could be like, hey, I never logged out. Human items or whatever. Yeah, because then, hey, I never logged out. Human objects. All right, but all right, but is, it, we it, wouldn't it, know any of this information um, without Momotaro. Like, we wouldn't know any information about her um, model being different and the um, Kokichi uh, model effect without Momotaro's um, look. We would have probably been able to find the text file, and uh, we probably would have been able to find the login, logout file, but the other information we wouldn't have been able to know. So that All would right. have been part of her plan. Exactly, because she right. was planning to kill someone. All right, but it, would, it, it noted when she logged in, though, so... When we see two login attempts, if she logged out and then logged back in later, mm. um, uh, are we saying that she logged in a second time? Well, she logged. Yeah, out, so. that's what I was. I was. One, I was uh, raising the possibility that um, making it so that her object counts, uh, her her model counts as an object and not a player avatar would make it so that her login logout attempts weren't logged weren't, weren't, weren't written down but the login was so are you saying that she but changed herself to an ob a non ob a non human object when she was in the game uh no nah, no that doesn't make any sense then okay never mind it was well, just a thought that i had let's just continue let's see if we can figure um, this out yeah She had the cell phone, though. Then you couldn't have placed the poison. Then you put poison bottles. All right, so I'm pretty sure I know what the answer to this is. Do you want me to just go or? Uh... Kaito, your well, um, she could have logged. Out. What are our options? We've got uh, uh, small. We've got. Con <laughs> go ahead. We've got the small bottle poison. We've got the killing game simulator. We've got the login logout record. We've got Kokichi in the salon. Wall added by me. So what were you gonna say? What was Kokichi in the salon? What was Kokichi in the salon? What did that say again? Uh, greeted me with me on the rooftop, but the door that was locked. He couldn't because of that. He returned to the salon and decided to search there. Uh, there were no witnesses who can confirm whether Suichi was actually in the salon. Uh, we could use that to say uh, on Kuki, uh, but that was a consent argument, not a contradiction argument. Yeah, the only thing we can contradict is uh, you could place the poison. <laughs> I I still am not fully convinced that she couldn't have logged out somehow and not have it be logged. I'm not fully convinced that that's not the case, but it seems less likely. But wait, what what, what about because uh, it doesn't? We don't have we can't use the uh, anomaly with the uh, the uh, the avatar error. So it's small ball of poison, killing game simulator, login logout record, Kokichi in the salon, and wall added by me. Oh, okay. I I have a theory, but we can't use it on the same, so it's not relevant yet. So the login logout, and then we already looked at the Kokichi at the salon. What about the wall? I don't really you think that added that a wall along the this. length of the Y axis had a special setting that allowed non human objects to pass through it. That's important, but not right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, do I want me to just go ahead and, uh. Because I'm pretty sure I know what this Sure. See that at all? If she hadn't logged in or out, then you couldn't have placed the. That's 
Well, just as she could have placed it ahead of time? Oh, because she logged in late. Oh, did she log in late? Yeah. Two minutes. She did log in late. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I should have noticed that. Right. Yeah. She logged in two minutes late. She was the last one to log in, and it was two minutes after everyone else logged in. That's right. It says that Mew was the last of us to log in. Yeah, what about it? If she logged in last, she would have had time to move around in the real world after the previous person logged in. That's right. She could have placed Poison Bottle on Kokiji's seat. This was all part of Mew's plan. She tried to kill me in the virtual world, make us think it happened in the real world, then pin the crime on Kaito. Well, that's not my fault. Which is why she managed Yeah, to and she would have tried to pin it on Kaito by using the cell phone to lock him out. Oh, she did that to me? Yes, I'm positive yeah. of that. You used to be yeah. only she could use to lock Kaito. Mm. All right, we'll yeah. go for a little bit longer, maybe like ten more minutes, and then we'll uh, we'll uh, stop there. Okay. How did she log him out? That's easy. The cell phone. The cell phone. This is it. It was the cell phone found by Mew's avatar. That cell phone worked the same way as the phone in the salon. It logs users in and out. I verified this myself when I spoke Kaito's name into it. We really should have warned him. Adios. Yeah. That's <laughs> true. He did the adios. Or the, uh, the kid <laughs> uh, standing on the That's sidewalk with the peace sign. Anyone to log out yeah. at any time. But you never mentioned the cell phone, right? That's what Shuichi referred to when he mentioned a method only she huh? could use. She kept the cell phone a secret on purpose, so she could use it for the murder. So, she really was planning a murder. And she tried to set me up. Well, I knew that from the start. Then why did you say I was the culprit? Because I wanted to get it through your thick skull. People you trust and defend will ultimately betray you. This is a game of suspicion. Well, I think your ideals should stay the same. Because phonies like you are what make the game more interesting. Don't you agree, Monokuma? Hmm? Do I? I no. Why are you still like this? Huh? Wait, what were we talking about? I wonder when Daddy's gonna get his motivation back. Yeah! If Father keeps slacking off, all the work is gonna get forced onto Mommy. Oh, no. uh oh, he's remembering. Oh. Anywho, it's a blessing in disguise that Mew died and not me. What you mean? Because she wouldn't have said anything about what really happened in the virtual world. You guys would have had a way harder time finding the culprit, you know. She would have been able to lie about the virtual world settings as much as she wanted. And you'd never know that the murder actually took place in the virtual world. So that's why she decided to... Why does her thing have two, three X's instead of just one? I'm not sure. I don't know, because people don't like her. Was so insistent we go into the virtual <laughs> world was... She was insistent we go there so she could kill us. What a shame. Person. I was sad that she was gone, but now I don't know what to think. <laughs> nice. See, that's an ideal fun situation. Uh, I his, don't know his if his I would her is... I don't know if I would consider her to be a trusted friend. I don't sound anything like him. No, you're just like Monokuma. Both of you are cowards. You never speak the truth or show your true face. Wait, coward? Can you say some interesting? Smiling, putting on a mask, never say that kind of cowardice is just like Monokuma. Daddy, they're calling you a coward. Yeah, yeah, I just gotta do my signature <laughs> laugh, right? Ooh, 
<laughs> there, I did it. <laughs> He's completely lost his drive. Oh. Listen up, Kokichi. The hell with this game of suspicion crap. I will never be okay with it. I'm just gonna believe in everyone. Instead of suspecting my friends, I'm gonna find the truth by believing in them. Well, if you think you can win this game like that... Of course I can. How long are you guys going to argue? If we don't find the culprit, then we'll... Oh, you're right. If we are going to begin searching for the culprit, let's... Huh? My story? You were meeting with Mio, but she ended up as the victim. So it's only natural for us to think you're the killer, right? Here's my answer. I never met up with Mew. Mm -hmm. You didn't? I tried to go to the roof to meet up with her, but the door was locked. But isn't lockpicking your specialty? You should have been. He doesn't able have lockpicking tools on him. I couldn't pick locks with my avatar body. I didn't have the tools for it either. Also, I never went to the roof. Not even for the meeting. I remember. You and Gonta went off together when we first started looking. But was the door to the roof actually locked? When I was on the roof before logging out, the door wasn't locked. Huh? How should I know? Then who locks the door to the roof? I already told you. How should I know? When I went to the roof, it wasn't locked. So you gotta be lying. What good would it be if I lied? I don't want to die either, you know. Lying would do you a lot of good if you're the culprit. Oh, mm -hmm. That was an interesting pause. <laughs> that was, yeah. Wait, there's no point in arguing about that now. Before we get to that, we need to discover the truth behind Mew's death. Truth? There were mysterious circumstances surrounding her death. We need to make sense of those first. Wow, Shuichi, you know your way around. Yes, keep up the hard work. The fit. So, what is this strange circumstance? Kokichi claims it was Mew who chose the meeting place. But I'm wondering how she got from the chapel to the mansion's roof. I see. Mew sent the bridge connecting the mansion and chapel into the river herself. If that's the case, then Mew might not have even gone to the roof. Oh, so she stood with No, she definitely uh could have gone to the roof. Mew was waiting for me to arrive. <clears throat> I'm sure she was waiting on the roof <clears throat> of the mansion. No. Mew should have been at the chapel. Look at where her avatar fell. Right next to the chapel. How would she have gotten to the mansion? There was no bridge over the river. Ah, uh, bridge wall. would be the only way to get across. So Yeah, we had to contradict that one. Yeah, wall on that statement. It looks like we don't even have the wall as an option. What? We don't. Do, do we have the settings on here her body? Sure, she was waiting on the rooftop of yeah, the maybe avatar. No. 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 What's uh, Tsunugi's account? I think her account is that she heard or she thought she saw Miu out of the window. So I think that's probably what we're supposed and to go with. That probably then. In which case, we would be contradicting um, uh, Himiko's first sentence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Miu was waiting for me to arrive. Sure, she was waiting at the mansion. No, Mew. That's wrong. Mew must have gone to the mansion. We have a witness. Yeah, when I was searching the. Then why didn't you? Sorry, I since there was no way she could have come to the. But I guess I wasn't mistaken after all. Then. How did she get to the mansion? Must have been some special method only you knew, like with that cell phone. There's no doubt about that. That's why she drew. If a murder occurred when it was impossible, and you guys 
know what that is? Yep. Oh yeah, the wall. The world is a loop, and there's only a wall, one wall. And the left and the right walls are the same one. Yeah. No worries, guys. As long as we leave it to Shuichi, everything. What are you saying? We can't just rely on Shu. This class trials for all of us. <laughs> He's an ultimate detective. I think he probably could. The NPCs are getting sentenced. <laughs> All right, we'll do this last one and then we'll stop. All right, there uh, it is. Wall added by me. Wall or, uh, finally added by me. Finally. Or instead of bridge, you use some kind of vehicle to go over. Maybe she teleported with magic, or she used a warp zone. Maybe there's a place you could cross without a bridge. I couldn't believe that only you could use to get across. That one. It is yep. She yeah. To change places. Man, you guys are way off. Or maybe I'm just pulling your legs. <laughs> Same red comment. <laughs> yeah. Say. I said, oh, shut up. Oh. Or she used or here. Oh, come on! Oh. There it is. I agree. There we Consent. Go. I agree. I agree with the robot. That's it, Kibo. There was a hidden route only Mew could use. Huh? Was there really? Mew modified the program to add a special wall to the world. The wall stretches along the y-axis, but we found two such walls in the virtual world. It's unclear whether Mew added the wall by the mansion or the wall near the chapel. We do know that that wall was set so that only objects could pass Don't through. Don't be naive, Shuichi. Uh, he said agree. No, he said argue. What is it? Oh, oh never mind. Jeez, Mew set up a weird wall like that? That is suspicious. But it's got nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with it? Huh. You don't even realize your mistake? Oh well, my sidekick's mistakes. Okay. What? Me use Avatar okay. probably. Oh, I forgot to actually start doing this. Why waste time talking about the it's pointless? We gotta take a whole new approach here. Now wait just a second. It's not actually impossible at all. But you just said so, didn't you? That wall Mew set up only lets non-human objects go through. Humans aren't yeah, able to pass through. through. So Mew obviously wouldn't be able to go through that wall. She's not just an object after all. You get it? So let's that one. Go this yeah, that one. Yeah. But you just said so, didn't you? That wall Mew set up. Only lets non-human objects go through. Humans aren't able to pass through. So Mew obviously wouldn't be able to go through that wall. She's not just after all. I'll cut through your words. V cut. V counter. V create. Get. V create. <laughs> she also changed her avatar settings from human to object. From human to object? Which means the virtual world treated the avatar as an object. She could have passed through a wall that only non humans could go through. Is that right? Don't get ahead of yourself, Kaito. We need to listen to yeah. everything Shuichi says. I already told yeah, Kaito. you. The more you try, the more you cause us trouble. Okay, I wouldn't go that so far. Oh, totally lame the. But enough. I was. I don't care. It just means even I make mistakes. 
Okay. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Kokichi, please refrain from making. So, if me. All right, that feels like a good place to stop. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, this is uh, interesting, huh? Yep. Yep. We are going to stop there, everyone. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, comment below your favorite something or other. Oh, I thought I had an idea earlier, but I can't remember what it was. I have a completely, it's not related to the topic at all, but I have an idea. Okay. Comment below uh, okay. your favorite vacation spot. It just came into my head. Maybe you could make some connection about the virtual world not being the real world, and so it's different from your way you're used to. Maybe you could use it as a vacation. I don't know. Okay. It's a bit of a stretch, but this is just the thought that came into my head, and it feels like a good question to ask. Comment your favorite below your favorite vacation spot. All right. Well, chance. I'm pretty sure we both have the same answer. Is it Wisconsin Dells? It is Wisconsin Dells. Oh yeah. Oh. Uh, I was gonna say you were either talking about Wisconsin Dells or maybe Akihabara, or maybe St. Louis. No, I was thinking Wisconsin Dells. Uh, yeah, I figured it'd be Wisconsin Dells. Uh, hmm. I used to have family in Virginia Beach, and I love going to be on vacation there. So okay. that's probably mine. Nice. I really enjoyed when we it's went it's to awesome. vacation in uh, in your neck of the woods. When we went yeah, to go visit, yeah, that was a lot of fun. We should do that again. Yeah. Oh. Glimmers. Glimmers. Uh, <laughs> I tried finding that YouTube video and I just could not yeah, find I it. Yeah, I couldn't it find just that doesn't YouTube move. video either. I was so it's upset. I was so upset. I really wanted to use it in a video and I, I couldn't find it. Yeah. We actually met that guy. You remember that? Yeah. He was yeah. working one day and we were like, hey, you're the guy from the video. <laughs> mm. That was fun. Classic. We're talking about a really fun place Girl. at Wisconsin Dells called Wizard Quest. Ah, uh, it was—it's a lot of fun. <laughs> we haven't been there in so long. I don't know what's changed. I'm yeah, sure that I don't they've know. changed I think a lot. Yeah, they probably have. All right. Well, anyway. Oh, sorry about that. Uh. Anyways. Yeah, comment below your favorite vacation spot. And uh, mm -hmm. we will see you guys next time when we are going to continue the trial and see if we can figure out who killed Miu. Until yep. then, see you later. Peace out. Bye-bye.